Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nagari Game! Epidex Audition! Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> What's this place? The warehouse? Hey, look over there. Those doors are white. Shall we have a look then? Uh, I, it's, it's been a long while, so give me one second here to totally interrupt whatever story is going on. Check the flow here. So, what are we doing? We've. into the magenta door with. wherever the hell we were waiting there. Fi and. I was about to say Diana Luna. And then. the ally. We go into the blue door now instead of the green door. And then we escape the wreck room instead of the golem bay this time. So we've just finished the wreck. They're all the same though. Well, this one's locked. This one won't open either. No lock here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So these will be the next doors to open. We should go let the others know. Right. Alice and I turned to go. The case they put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. I mean, somewhere very similar. You mean the Floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An Ambidex gate has been open. 45 minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. What the hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah, let's get going, guys. I forgot how much awful loading there was as the game backtracks you all the way from the 4B warehouse to the 4A warehouse. Oh boy, isn't this exciting watching doors open and close and open and close and a little light blink across the map. Just so we know which path we've decided to take to get back. Worst idea in any visual novel ever. Fuck, finally. Sigma? Where's Ten Yoji's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but. Oh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Treatment center? How's that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it, too, after we opened the safe. You grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. Show us what you took. Get away from me! Clover shoved her hand into Dio's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go! Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! An injection gun. The label on the vial says Neo Stigmine. What's this stuff for? I don't know, but I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Give it back. I found it, so it's mine. <laughs> hey! He's like a fucking child. In a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover, but before she had a chance to protest.
Have any of you seen Quark? Anyone? Please! Quark? Did something happen to him? We found a pantry on the other side of the red door, but after we left, he just... disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. Do you think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? Come on. What? That little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there. Just saying it's a possibility. Well, even if it is, we should all be looking for yes. it. Yes! As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seemed strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. I turned and headed toward the magenta door. And then he went through the magenta door and down the hallway. And then he took a left. Into the lounge. <laughs> And in the lounge. But we know what the lounge looks like. We've been here on this run. Cork! You in here? It's not. Damn. Let's try floor B then. Alright, back to the rec room, I guess. I wish I had something more, more anything to say during these awful long loading. Ten Yoji's team took the red door. They probably already searched the area pretty thoroughly then. Maybe I'll try the blue door. Blue door is where the wreck room was, right? That's where we went. Now, I think in this timeline, they don't know that they die if they don't vote. Quark, where are you? It's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Ah, oh, Sigma, any luck? Nothing. I can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Never mind. If you found him, you said something Indeed. already. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Oh well. Let's head back to the Floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Well, did you find him? Sorry. You couldn't find him anywhere. I, I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah. We're it. I'm guessing you guys didn't have any luck either. Yeah, no clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Well, wouldn't we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Quark. Tim Yoji's shoulders slumped. He looked old. Much older than he had when we met. I could see tears glistening at the corner of his eyes. For just a moment, I saw in them all of his pain, fear, and despair, and it felt like someone had put my heart in a vice. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Fuck hey, Dio. You guys, come here. What are you standing Dio? around for? They're in the crew quarters. What? Just come on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh fuck, they're both dead this time? Well shit, that was fast. <gasps> no. How? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. There was a roaring in my ears. Breathing? Heartbeat? But my footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. 
Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into her chest so far that only the hilt was visible, and the entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. I forced myself to swallow, a stinging lump in my throat, and turned toward Luna. Unlike Alice, at first glance, she seemed unharmed. As I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew what I'd find, but I pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. There. They're dead. My god. What on earth happened here? That bastard killed them! Whoever Who? it was that killed the old lady in the AB room. You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Unlikely, but Luna thanks stabbed Jake. Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. That's pretty far-fetched. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean the killer is one of us? Do you think there's someone else in here? Well? Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Hmm. Oh, give me a break! How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer! Can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players... Please enter your vote. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally. I guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. What does it mean to buy the farm? You wanna farm? say that to my face? Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the AB game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against Kay, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Okay, hold on. We're looking up the uh, the meaning and origin of the expression "bought the farm." To die, particularly in an accident or military action. All right, there we go. I don't think I've ever heard it used like that. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong, and they. True. I suppose that is a possibility. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. Wait. Why did they say something? Uh... I was looking up... Okay, uh... Killer, you explain Alice, she's playing against K Mountain. Uh, hold on. Let's go back to where we bought the farm, so I can reread this. Oh jeez, I went way too far. Non voting party. One person's missing areas about the farm. I'd say this alerts the old suspicious one here. You wanna say that to my face? Yeah, you kill us, you can get a few more points in the AB game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against K, not me. Oh, not quite. Even without a partner, Alice is Sigma still is to be in the cast of others. Okay, so they're saying that we meant to kill Sigma instead of Luna. Okay, I got it. We should take their bracelets with us then. 
Huh? Did they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? What did you just say? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> Knock it off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. We should return to the warehouse. Alice. <laughs> Come on, Clover. We gotta go. No! I'm not going anywhere! I can't just leave her here. <laughs> Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got 6 BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally, and I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick Ally, of course, but Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine points? What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine. I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Let's go. Five God, minutes you're such a bitch. <laughs> until Ambidex game Poland closes. And everybody instantly hates him. Third of the week of the game, and everybody knows Dio needs to just lock in a box in the corner room somewhere. I took a deep breath and unlocked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for answers, all I found were more questions. Who killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? That's only two questions. I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games, but at this point I didn't really have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started towards the entrance to my AV room. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. You have 5 BP. If we both ally, then you will gain 2 points, leaving you with 7 in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another 2 points, bringing you to 9. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain 3 points, for a total of 8. In other words, you will be unable to reach 9 BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, but how many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AB game. That means you should have 6 BP right now. If you betray me and get another 3, you get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. But you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety, as I only had 3 points at the time. The prospect of losing 2 of them was very unsettling. Now that I have 6 BP, I have some room for error. Why wouldn't you want to get out of here as soon as you possibly could? Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. Why is that? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Huh? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number nine door only opens once! Once that opens, it's all over! It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you'll be I trust you remember now? <laughs> so if someone opens it and escapes... Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, don't tell me you're planning to just leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? Well, no. Of course we'd stop you. You see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, of course. You too. It's not entirely remember, but I think he picks Betray. Uh... Please, thank 30 seconds oh, remain until Amber's <laughs> game polling closes. Given that this one is 
since Ally Betray. I'm pretty sure they all follow that since it's Ally Betray. And see, it's, uh, it's much shorter. I'm pretty sure we're about to get betrayed, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Kate made a compelling argument, but I still have to make my choice. Would he really choose to ally? If I chose ally and he chose betray, he'd have nine points and I'd have two. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try and escape right away. The question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I had never seen? Ten seconds remain until Ambedek's game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two of the Ambedex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. You're welcome, announcer. Ambedex gates now opening. All right. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Double betray. Quark betrays Luna. We get betrayed by K. Man, everybody's a bitch. I mean, Quark was getting nine there regardless, because he was dead. Uh, obviously, Phi and Dio were going to betray Clover, because Clover was obviously going to betray there, so that was going nowhere. K betraying us. Points have been assigned, or so please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Please can't trust K. So you did what? indeed choose ally. You tricked me. I apologize. Sigma, you fucking idiot. Now K's got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. But, but he's not going to just leave us. I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. What? Before we could react, K slipped past us with speed and agility that belied his size. In the blink of an eye, he was standing in front of the number nine door. Okay! God damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! He didn't give any sign that he heard Dio. Just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. Do it. I trust you, okay? The answer is obvious. Two, excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. A simple decision, really. I'm sure you would have done. God damn it, Kay. I apologize. I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Kay, wait. You can even turn around. Why don't they jam the door open or something? Like, they could have planned it so that whoever could open it, like, waited until they could jam the door with something, and they jammed the door open with something, and then they figure out some way to deal with the bracelet injection thing, and then just sneak on out. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. <sighs> He's gone. Damn it! This is all your fault, Sigma! There's no point to blaming him now. Yeah, it's not like we can open that door again. Ugh, damn it! 
No, this isn't right. This can't be right. He stood there in silence, staring at the door. The only exit to the outside world, now closed forever. Our only chance of escape now was to help Cave to keep his word and contact the police. Alice, Luna, the old woman. Who had killed them? Where had Court gone? There were questions we still hadn't answered, but we had plenty of time now. Perhaps we still would. Bad end. Yeah, okay, game over.